everyone, it's Lily or Cool Rice Bunnies and today I am doing this DIY Japanese candy kit and today it is the candy toilet kit. I've seen this on YouTube and I've really been wanting to try it so here it is and I'll have more information about it in the description box down below like how you can get one. I'm feeling a little sick today so please excuse my voice and that's the reason why I thought it would be appropriate to do this and I haven't uploaded it in a long time which I apologize for. I've been busy with my organizations and my internship and I also secured my summer internship which I was you know I'm really excited about that but it took out a lot of my time. Today I am making this video and I thought it would be really fun. So here's the kit. This is what the box looks like. It comes with a plastic toilet inside and you can decorate it with some stickers. Each different toilet represents a different country so that is really cute. This kit is just kind of a fizzy drink that you mix inside of a plastic toilet and you drink out of it so that's interesting and on the side here they have suggestions for what you can use the toilet for afterwards. There's the box, super adorable and now I am just going to take my scissors and open it. separate all of these little plastic toilet pieces and <laughs> it's a very nice quality um, plastic toilet if I do say so myself. This is really cute. The lid goes up and down and this little cap comes off. So the next step is to actually take one of these flavor packets and put it in the toilet. This blue one is probably soda flavor or ramune. This green one here looks like melon flavor and then this um, pink one here looks like ichigo or strawberry flavor and I think I'm going to try the melon flavor first. I want you to put the lid back on and just give the toilet a shake. So that way when you open the lid, it's at the bottom here. Very interesting. <laughs> so next you want to take off this lid again and you're actually going to fill this part with water and then put it into the toilet and that is supposed to be enough to make your flavored drink. And then we open it. I don't think that was out of water. Oh, oh, oh. That, oh, the water came up. <laughs> there was a clog in the toilet. <laughs> okay. And now we are just going to take the straw that came with the kit and we are going to stir it up. All right, so I've mixed this up pretty well and I guess all there's left to do now is try it. It was very sweet very um, kind of tart and sour. That was definitely interesting. Um, I think I'm going to try one more flavor and then we are going to decorate the toilet. I think I am going to put just a little bit more water in here. This is it, it's super foamy, and we're just going to give it another try here. In conclusion, these don't really taste the best. It, it's kind of fizzy, I don't know if I mentioned that with the melon flavor, but it is a little fizzy, very bubbly, super artificial tasting. There are some Japanese candy kits out there that I've had before, and they are just, they do not taste great. But this is not as terrible as the other ones, but it's also just not delicious in a way that I would buy it primarily for the candy. This is definitely something that you would just buy for the novelty or for the plastic toilet itself. And we are going to decorate it with the stickers that it came with. Right here. So you're greeted by a panda every time you lift up the toilet seat. 
think that's cute. All right, everyone, so that is it for this candy kit video. Um, I think it came out pretty cute, and, and overall, the candy wasn't that great tasting, but it was definitely fun, and I really do like this little plastic toilet that it came with. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed it. And thank you all so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!